OK, so um, I wanted to do a quick demo of using a uh, batch. Batch is available on the SharePoint REST endpoint for a long time. Um, I'm based, oh, yeah. And um, and before I really go in, and I know, I don't know whether it's Andrew is still here. But anyway, um, to, to read about batch, it's documented here a long time ago. But the documentation is never as clear as the official documentation, which is uh, Andrew Connor's blog, which is here. Read Andrew Connor's blog post. That's where you should go. And then uh, read these two. Um, and Andrew goes quite a lot uh, deeper into how how to do batch. But basically, instead of just sending a simple, you know, we, we're probably familiar with this kind of this kind of HTTP request. Instead of doing just that, you could put multiple of them together, put some text in the middle. It just had to be like this, and then create a GUI to kind of mark the boundaries of the batch, and then send this whole thing as one go. So that's how batch works. Now, um, I went back and checked Andrew's blog post. This was, this is timeless. He did it in 2015. That's how nice. Anyway, and I'm digging it out and doing, guys, let's do batch again. Uh, that's what I'm up to. So, uh, and if you're using PMPJS, which I've been using for a long time, uh, PMPJS does wrap it all inside the, the uh, fluent syn the what do you call it the fluent syntax. Um, so you could just say do lots of stuff, do it in this batch, and then execute the whole batch. So that's how I've been doing it. Um, but that's the raw HTML that we need to do. And then if you're using PMPJS, that's the wrapper that already does it, so you don't have to worry about it. And uh, so you might be saying, John, why are you doing in flow then? Well. That's that's uh, that's really where my demo is. So let's quickly show you uh, what this this flow looks crazy. Um, actually, let me start here. So I have two lists. This is the source list. It's got about eleven items. Okay. Uh, when I, I'm presenting to like a blank room, just kind of quickly check. Okay. People are still there. Good. Um, my biggest fear is, you know, if I suddenly disconnect and I just keep talking and nobody knows. Anyway, uh, so here's my destination list. Let me just double check. Oh, there's stuff in there. Let me just kill them all. Delete, delete all this. Yeah, while it's doing that, okay. So the whole idea is that I have a a, a source list of you know, a, a number of items, and I might have a destination. I just want to copy all the lists across. Okay, and uh, I want to do in flow. Now, traditionally in flow, what we will do then is we will fetch all the items, then we'll put it into some sort of for each loop, and then for each one, uh, we'll determine, oh, does this item exist in the source? Right, so let me, let me make, I may pop up. So we'll basically say get items, then we'll do for each. Then we'll say get item. Does it exist? And then either insert or update. Right. So that's the traditional. You know, if you're building a flow from scratch, we do it like this. Now, this works okay if you only have a few items. As soon as soon as you have many items, this becomes very slow because you might pay, you know, one cost for this. Then you pay n cost for this. The number of rows. And then does it exist? Then you pay another end cost for this. So very quickly, uh, you run into maybe SharePoint throttling. Also in flow, each connection, you're basically like fetching the connection or fetching the doing the authentication, make your call, and then when it returns, it throws it all the way. So then next action, it does it, it does it again. So over time, um, if you if you say looping through a large list, this gets quite slow. Right, so basically that was the problem I was, you know, facing. I'm updating more and more list items, and they're getting really slow. And I just wanted them to run quicker. So I started looking into batch. Uh, that was something I knew that existed, and I thought, I wonder if I can make it work. And um, so to make batch work, 
So this is a this is the flow. Uh, this is a so the, I have two that I want to show. This one we'll come back to later, but I'll just explain what the boxes do. This one gets the source item. So so this is the this is this list, and that gets the destination. And then I'm basically juggling between them using either filter or select to um, to basically work out what's new. So filter or select. If since you know this is a developer code, filter is array dot filter, and select is array dot map. Okay, so if you're thinking, oh, what are these fancy um, data operations in Flow? That's what they map to. So. In general, in Flow, you're trying to use the data operations to string down your array as quickly as you can. And then within these two, I do a bit of union. I figure out what's new and what needs to be updated. And then uh, basically the trick to, oops, the trick to both the insert and the update is here. Where is it? So insert chunk basically is this, right? It's very similar to this, uh, where is this, this, this thing that we are doing. So basically that is one insert. We're doing that. Uh, and then we're going to actually replace this line with the actual JSON of the, of the, of the SharePoint item that we're sending to this. And then same here with the update. Update has an if match. I just do an override. I don't actually check E tag. I just override. Um, and then merge everything at the end and uh, send it to SharePoint in one hit. So this joins all the inserts and updates together. I've got another one in production that also does deletes. So it actually works out between two source lists and destination, what's new, what needs to be updated, and what needs to be deleted. And then it just does the merge in one hit. So um, that's how that this kind of, what do you call it, fast sync works. Uh, I have another quick one here. This one, I've actually replaced this. So I get the item, but I actually throw it away. I'm just going to create a random uh, 1 to 50. And the title, uh, I do a bit of random text. It could be John 1 or it could be 1 John. It's just kind of random. Let me start running with this. I'll show you what, what that looks like. Thanks. So uh, you'll see getting items are fairly quick. All the data composed are almost zero second. Um, Converting or combining arrays. So filters and select are really quick. Compose is really quick. Apply to each can be slow, and ultimately uh, sending sending 50 updates to SharePoint took 13 seconds. And if I come here, let me see. So there, all all the items. So this, this is the random I was talking about. One John or John two. So there was a bit of random in how I name things. Uh, but they're all written basically in one batch up to 50. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the random that wants to set it up. So that one did what did it do? It did 15 seconds. Let's come over here and show you this one. So this one uh, I have this list. So this list only has 11 items, and they are all in this order. So I want to use it to update here. And let me show you when I run this. So this one's getting a source list and a destination list. It's comparing between them, and it only sends updates through. So basically, if the source and destination are the same, uh, I don't need to send anything. Uh, and that one should, I don't know whether they, um, but you'll see like a few of these are updated because we fixed them. Like this one did not get changed, but this one did. That one, that one. That one, that one, right? So um, that's basically the whole uh, the, the whole idea. Of, and let me show you what this thing this thing look like. So let me just copy that out and pop that over here. So basically, uh, it just created this. Not too many, just created this. Now there's a few more things in Flow that makes it really easy. Flow has a GUID method uh, expression, so it could create these GUIDs quite easily. Uh, the other thing that Flow has is a JSON method, which is basically uh, JSON, what is it? JSON stringify. 
So that's very useful for turning a row into this this type of JSON that we need for the um, for each row. Okay, so that's those two. Um, uh, two, two, two. And there's a few more thinking. I, I haven't really gone. Like in batch, you could do additional things. Like when I create an item, uh, also changes permission and maybe um, you know do 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 additional calls. So it doesn't have to be just item updates. You can batch a bunch of things together in one call. Um, so do test those ideas. Uh, but ultimately, this flow is quick because we talk to SharePoint only three times. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, so a call that would have otherwise taken maybe 50 connections to SharePoints, we shrink it down to three. Um, when we are writing flow as developers, we should think of flow as the orchestration engine. Don't think so much of it as a workflow engine. Um, you want to run things in parallel when they're not related. You want to filter your array quickly. You want to map your JSON uh, and then very quickly get into your write. So uh, think in parallel and generally your flow will be a lot quicker. So um, so yeah, those are six seconds. One more, one more trick. I don't really have it in a demo, but I might just quickly build a blank one. Um, I use a button trigger to start this flow. But you can actually use the automated trigger if I use SharePoint when item is created and modified. And I'll show you this setting here. Um, in the SharePoint trigger, which will appear anytime soon, uh, there is a setting in the back. So setting, generally, the trigger is running with a split on, and this is something that's in logic apps as well. Uh, but basically, SharePoint trigger is a webhook plus a polling trigger. In when it gets kind of notified that things have changed, it gets a small array of multiple items. Now, because of the synchronizing of two lists run so fast, you actually don't need it to run on each item. You can actually say, you know what, don't worry about this. Uh, just give it to me as either one item or array. I don't really care. Um, and then I'm going to run the sync just on the whole list anyway. So uh, that will save you a whole bunch of flows. So if I'm saying creating a flow to automatically sync every change here into this list, then uh, I will run this trigger in batch mode. So that means I only get one trigger. Uh, if the user is quite quick at typing or if they're using the multi-edit, if you're using the quick edit to edit a lot of rows, uh, then the, when the trigger fires, it may fire for three or four items at once but I just sync the whole thing anyway, so I don't really care which item is the one that's running. Um, so yeah, now I did wanted to kind of end with the thought that uh, I was really enjoying the, the list view, the tile things, where we could do the tile view of these lists. I wonder if I see it here. No, not here yet. Um, but in the view, you can also create flow buttons, so you can actually have your end users trigger flow on these items. And I was really thinking how, like, you know, JSON, we do have to know a bit of JSON. So I consider a low code, not no code. But in the low code world, we can now customize SharePoint lists to be quite pretty, uh, very functional. And you have the list view JSON in the front, so almost like a UI, right? It's running in the browser. But you have Flow able to run in the back end, almost like a low code server that's doing all these, uh, you know, cross list copying. Maybe you need to copy to another list that the end user don't have permission. So your connection actually runs as another account. Uh, so all these really fancy stuff that we can now build. Uh, it's just come quite a long way. So quite, quite, quite enjoy how these pieces come together. Um, I want to probably end with one more. So we, I recorded a session on the Flow conference on how to make the flow really quick. Uh, I'm right at the end. And I go into how these filter and flow are. Oh, where is it? I'm right at the end. Bunch of the flow MVPs are here. Um, where I I mentioned, you know, how do we bring these flow runs down? And, uh, you know, diving deeper into the filter and the select and how those work. So I just want to end with that. I go and sign up. Um, this conference picked up a lot of people in the last two weeks. 
So I uh, hope to see you. And um, that's all. I'll, I'll hand my mic. Thank you. To thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, John. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. <clears throat> and it's good to see and, and a great demo on the, on the integration of Flow and SharePoint. And, and SharePoint is one of the most used, let's say, friends of Flow uh, in the Flow world uh, because a lot of people are using SharePoint and lists and all of that. And then that starts the, the Flow operations and all of that. Mm -hmm.